Hey guys, so uh, we got a brand new Clash Royale update today. It's been uh, over two months since my last video on this game, so yeah, it's definitely uh, it's been it's been a minute. And there's been a massive update today. We got the um the, this thing right here, the Goblin Queen's Journey. It's like a brand new game mode. It's telling me to play a match. I'm not gonna do that quite yet. But there's a ton new cards. You gotta make your own like deck for it. So I'm gonna have to do that. There's this thing here, it's a brand new, like, tower troop, I think, the baby goblins, so that's something, and then there's, if I scroll down, it's probably, it's probably down there, yeah, look, there's a bunch of new cards here, like the goblin demolisher, the goblin curse, and the goblin machine, so we're gonna be trying to unlock all of those at some point, and then if we go here, there's a brand new, like, arena system, so we got two of the new goblin cards down there, there's also some brand new goblin-themed, like, chests, which is pretty neat. So we start out here in the gold mines, and then we gotta climb our way up to the mud pit, followed by the scrapyard, and ending with the ancestral palace at 3,000 trophies. And then at the very tippy top, it's actually, there's not really like a, anything to collect here, it's just like additional 400. You get to, I guess, where like the queen's throne room, and you get a little emote there for the goblin queen. So, uh, let's try out the game mode. I mean, I haven't even made a deck yet. Oh, it just gave me one. Okay. So, show me your spirit, my brethren. I will send you my brood to assist you. Okay. So, spend elixir on goblin cards to charge up my queen ability. So, that's that green bar on the tower. The more goblin cards you use, the more stuff it does. Yes, yeah, so let's just place a Goblin Giant there, and it filled up the ability. So the next Goblin card I place should activate it. So let's put a Dark Goblin there. So it activated it, sends out tons of little baby goblins. They say charge. Lovely. Yeah, so then they go and attack the tower and that sort of thing. All I can do is play anything else, it's just gonna do not its own. That's kinda that's kinda crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even need to play the video, else. The Goblin Giant's gonna solo up. Actually, wait, is it? No, it's not. Okay, never mind that. It was close. Okay, so only the Goblin cards do that, though. So I think the strategy here is just to make an all-goblin deck. That might work. Let's just get some more Goblin cards in here. That should be enough to take out the tower. I'm pretty sure this is just a fly. Yep, and there's the tower going. Okay. So that's my uh, first game playing this. It seems pretty fun, I guess. So let's use this deck for now and try out a real battle here and see what happens. So I have not tried out the Goblin Demolisher yet. So let's put him in the back. I know he throws like sticks of dynamite. Okay, yeah, this guy's already using Goblin Barrel. See, everyone's gonna be using Goblin Barrel, so it's better just to not use it because everyone's gonna have it. There's no real point in using it at this point. You know? So he's gonna throw sticks of dynamite, and then once he takes enough damage, he starts charging like a wall breaker. Look, look how much damage he's doing, dude. That's actually kind of- that's, that's great. He can arrows that, maybe. And then he, he- okay, I didn't really need to arrow that, but like, like he, you can see he charged there and then exploded. So there was no really point in the arrow, arrowing that, because he just, like, exploded anyway. And the new tower? Okay. It's like a slightly faster shooting princess tower. So I can put a Goblin Demolisher in the back here. So now the ability's ready. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll counter that. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I, I, I can take the damage. Okay, actually, maybe not. That did a ton of damage. Doesn't matter. When I put down the Goblin Giant... It'll slow down everything. So now I got like a massive push going at the same time as this. I can put a Goblin Gang to get rid of those guys. I can help. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, everything's just gone. Oh, he's done. <laughs> well, okay. So I guess that's the strategy. You want to, you want to build up the goblin ability, and then time it so that when you, when you do a big push, the, the ability also activates, and then you just win. Goblin Barrel might be a good pick. Just to try and bait out some arrows or a lock or something, you know? It's pretty cheap, too. Yeah, maybe Goblin Barrel instead of regular Goblins would be good. 
The other guy did like Goblin Barrel Free, which right? is kind of nuts. Yeah, but like this guy's mistake here is he's playing cards that are not Goblin cards. It's gonna cost him. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so this tower is just like a slightly faster shooting princess. That's not bad though. Ooh, I wonder if cards that cost more elixir raise the bar up higher. It's possible. It's about it, it, yeah, okay, the bar is about to be full. Can't really time it, though. Okay, well, now, now, now the thing's charging. He just, he, he fireballed it, so now it's weak enough so it's gonna charge and just explode. Boom. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. So we do a little goblin there. My ability's active now. Favorite color. Is he even gonna try to defend it? <coughs> it looks like he is. Okay, I'm just gonna try and cycle a little bit. Some cards out. So that way I can do a nice big push. Is he gonna do a Pog Rider? Okay. Well, I guess the baby guns are gonna have to be something right now. They're gonna do some work. Let's rush with the Goblin Giant. I think we've won this pretty much. Can't really do much. Can't stop me. <laughs> yeah, this guy did not come prepared. You definitely want to bring all Goblin cards. And he, he messed up the place. It's good. Mm -hmm. It was pretty fun. I like it. So I'm wondering if. Hmm. If you play like different like elixir cards, does it like change how much you get out of it? Or, like like the common thing got really weak, so just charged it there, but Firecracker's gone. That's good. Like if I play the Goblin Giant, I feel like it gave me like a lot more for the um for the Goblin Queen bar thing. You know? Let's see if it goes up significantly higher. I feel like it does. I think I think I think it is, yeah. You can see your opponent's bar, so that's definitely useful. This thing is about to let loose. If I just do this at the bridge and then it launches them all. Ooh, right on the Mega Knight too? That's actually that's actually great. Oh and the thing's gonna connect, yes! Okay, wait, I mean when you surround the Mega Knight. Oh thank god it didn't jump. That would have been so bad. Oh, this might be worse. This is worse. No. That goblin cage did nothing. Oh my god. Yeah, like, like the goblin explosive guy just doesn't... He doesn't, he doesn't do anything until you get like below that like half health meter. Okay, yeah, see, th this guy's good at the game. Uh, air was not enough to finish the tower? Oh my god. Now we're going to get lower level stuff here. Okay. Well, at least the baby goblins die really quickly. So they're not too much of a threat. Definitely want to arrows that out of the way. Ability's ready now. I don't really wanna. I guess I can do this. Get my own demolisher. Yeah, and then that all kind of goes in at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. The best hitting the tower of the bombs. He's done. The magnet hits it. It's just gonna run away. <laughs> Oh, that's actually so funny. I thought he was gonna kill the tower. Yo! Wait a minute. Goblin Giant, kill the tower, quick. Oh, the arrows just finished it, okay. Alright then. Okay, I don't think he has, no, no, he, he does have a wall. Well, let's just bait that out, I guess, if he does have a wall. We're just gonna start spell cycling this tower. We're both about to get the ability to save the tower. 
Okay. There goes mine. <laughs> Wait, is that gonna kill my tower? Please, no. Yeah, stop, stop, stop all that. Thank you. No! Oh, that did a lot of damage. I don't like that. Okay, let's try to put the gob barrel in the corner. Maybe he'll miss the log. Dang it, he actually caught it. Okay. This is very concerning. What am I gonna do? Oh my god, wait, that almost connected? Are you joking? Okay. The ability's ready, so I might as well just go in. Oh my Oh wait, 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 that actually did a ton of damage. If I arrows and log it, that might finish. No, no, no. But we can spell cycle out the rest of it for sure. No, we need to pull that back down. Oh, the golf guy's connecting. It's what? No. You're you're kidding. So the one bad thing about this game mode is that everyone's playing a very similar deck. And that results in very sweaty gameplay. You know. So while this might seem like just a fun casual game mode, it's quite the opposite. I might I would even say it's harder than regular like ladder. It very well could be. It's gonna be a very difficult thing thing to do for sure. It's literally everyone's playing with the exact same mode. It's kinda of ridiculous. Oh, uh, I hit the, like, the log hit it, but it still exploded on the tower. Hmm. Well, my ability's full, so let's rush the other side. There we go. Carry it with the goblin barrel as well. Goblin giants connecting? About to me. Wait, is the queen already activated technically? Like, what happens if you damage the queen? Like, is she gonna pull out like a different attack? She's already, she's already attacking, right? Or no, am I, am I mistaken? I can't. I don't really know. Dude, what? The, dude, what is this? This is actually getting really hard already. I've only played the first few games. I mean, it's probably because it's the first day. You know what? Yeah, actually, this is probably just because of the very first day of this. I'm pretty sure this game mode is gonna last for a few months at least. So we, we're, we're gonna have some good, good time with it before it goes. Which is nice. Yeah, but this is quite the sweaty game mode. About to end. I just got the tower, so we really need to start protecting this thing. Oh shoot! Wait, he's gonna—he's—he's he's got the ability ready. Okay, okay. Defend all of those guys. Okay, I think we got this. There is that real quick. Okay, I think we're good. There's nothing that he, he can do. Oh, okay, we won. That was kind of close, though. All right, and let's see what our special reward is. What are you gonna get from the special goblin chest? Some monies, okay. Wild cards, and 19 goblins. Oh, wait, and three goblin demolishers. All right, not that good. Not, not worth it at all. <sighs> but I imagine they'll get better as we go along. So that's the new uh, Goblin Queen's Journey mode, right? Isn't that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, the Goblin Queen's Journey. It's pretty cool. I like it. Definitely gonna try and grind this as high as I can, you know? Try and get to the tippy top of this trophy road thing. Get to the queen. That's the mission. So, um, yeah. Maybe I'll make a video on that when I get close to it. I don't know. So, um, 
yeah, I'll see you guys then. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, bye.